Almost exactly 48 hours after a mass shooting broke a community and forced it into lockdown, a trail took police last night to a recycling centre and brought their nightmare to an end. A body found, a suspect dead. I stand here to t tonight to simply report that the Maine State Police have located the body of Robert Card in Lisbon. He is dead. I've called President Biden to inform him about this news. The state governor was joined by other city officials for the late evening announcement. Yes, I can confirm that. It's an apparent self-inflicted gunshot wound. These next steps are going to be, gives us an opportunity to, to do things as fast as we can in the sense that we want to provide closure and information, but also slow things down a little bit. The news ended a day of intense police activity. They had called it a fast-moving, dynamic manhunt, and it certainly looked that way. In pockets of this rural New England community, sudden activity as the hunt for Robert Card took new twists. This, a farm, just a few hundred metres from where he would be found hours later. On the ground and from the air, they had searched. There was a particular focus near the river where his car had been abandoned. This yellow sonar submersible searched below the water's surface. They have given no further details yet on how they eventually found him. But for a community hurting and unable to come together after two days of lockdown, this is the news they needed. Joshua A. Seal, 36 years of age. Brian M. McFarlane, 41 years of age. At an earlier news conference, each of the victims was remembered. Joseph Lawrence Walker, 57. Their stories each carry a particular tragedy. Trisha C. Asselin, 53. Joshua Seal was among a group of deaf friends brought together for a sports tournament at the bar. His wife Elizabeth, with their children by her side, somehow managed the strength to reflect. I think those people who already know my husband, they were lucky. He was amazing. For those who didn't know him, they lost out. He was such a fierce advocate for the deaf community and for kids. This late night news represents the end of the beginning for Lewiston because it will be a long journey ahead, healing from this. Now, a familiar cycle, a debate about America's gun laws and its mental health challenges will rage and then fade until the next one. Mark Stone, Sky News in Lewiston, Maine.